Hey guys, Sanjuri here, and here we have today is the review for the uh, Kotobukiya D Style ARX8 Leviathan. And here he is. Haha. <laughs> okay. Sure. So, let's get him closer up. Take a nice little look at him. Alright, yep. So he's a pretty good looking kit. All the nice little like red accent pieces all over him. Black and red, can't go wrong with that. And he has a bit of um, some orange, uh, orange on top, which really just gives it just a little bit more. Yep, so there you go. Pretty nice. Alright, so uh, let's just get into the articulation here. Um, his head goes about that far until it starts knocking into um, shoulder pieces, just like that. Yeah, these shoulder pieces drop on a dime. So, yeah. Let's see, they go up and down. So pretty good articulation. If these were in the way, a lot better. <laughs> uh, the head also has a little joint for um, an effect part that's gonna come up soon. Okay, the arms. There is a ball joint in the shoulders, but it doesn't move at all. Well, you kind of don't want it to. <laughs> But yeah, so the shoulders go a little in and out. Uh, they have an elbow bend that far. No shoulder or under the shoulder uh, rotating. Uh, they have the wrist movement goes all the way around, just on a single ball. If you can see that. So wherever a ball goes, this goes. So not too bad. Oh yeah, and it goes do 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 all the way around. Uh, the waist goes pretty far until it hits like the legs. The legs themselves. Let me pick up an arm. Back this far, the back skirt. Up this far, pretty good kick. All right, bring it down. No um, knee joint, so can't move. And for the feet, they go this far, that far, back that far, forward that far. So pretty good. And let's put them back here a little bit. You get his accessories. Here is a combat knife. He has two of these. And uh, this white piece is going to be shared with another thing that's come right up. So just a small little uh, combat knife. Nice little uh, white accent on it. Let's just grab him. Stick it in there. There you go. Looks pretty good. Uh, put it up in silver, looks even better. Okay, and here's the other one without the white piece. Okay, and here is the thing that the white piece shares with. And I am going to take a total guess here because I have no idea what this is. But I'm thinking that it is the common knife flipped like in. I don't know. Could be, couldn't be, I don't know. But these can be stored in the knee. Got a combat knife to the knee. Yep. And that is looking really nice. I like it that way a lot more. <laughs> so all you have to do is just 
take one of these pieces, take the white from that one, and just let's see, you gotta flip this, orient it the right way, and just stick that white piece in there, and that's what you get. And you all have to do is I'll put both then. Looks a lot better. There you go. See? That guy has knees. Like protruding knees, but looks pretty good. Kinda gundamish. Like um I don't know. I don't know what. I'm trying to say something, but I forgot. <laughs> Alright, here's this next weapon. It's kinda like a um, shotgun. Kinda like a salt rifle type thing. Has a stock in the back. So all you have to do is just stick this in his hand. Pretty simple. There you go. And maybe just take it out of his hand. This piece also comes off. And if you flip this around, you could get this into a stored mode. Ooh, this way. Okay, just like that. Kind of looks like it has a scope now. And if you turn this guy around, you can see a little hole right there. Just peg right there. You can just peg that in. And it is supposed to store if I get it. In. There it is. So, pretty good. So, you can have all his armaments on him, even if you're not using it. Okay, and before I get into the last weapon piece, he has some uh, additional um, shoulder accent pad pieces. I don't know what to call them, but it might be an alt mode because on the manual you see him with this and also the effect part, which I will show you guys right after this one. There you go. So all you do is just replace um, this red piece with this one. And this one has a bit of articulation with um, this red shield type looking thing. And let me just take the other side off. Think. Uh, go in. Oh, see? Just falls off. Just falls off. Stay on. Stay. Stay. Okay. Alright. And just like that. And the next part is the effect piece. Which is kind of like hair, but I think it's more meant to look like, um, kind of like a jet stream type thing. Because... Maybe it's supposed to like mimic like going fast or something. And it goes right in there. You see that joint right there. So you, there you go. So it kind of looks like hair. But I'm pretty sure it's supposed to mimic, you know, him going really fast. Who knows? It might be hair. <laughs> I don't know. There you go. So that's his alt mode in a way. And for the last weapon, it's kind of sniper rifle, I think. Let me see the. Mm hmm. So, with most of these, um, I think with most Kotobukiya, like, D style kits, it's reminiscent of uh, all of the uh, old SD Gundams, which, like, there's not a lot of details on the weapons. There's a lot of hollow parts. Uh, did I show you guys with the... I think this one had hollow part. Let me see. There. Okay, so you get just a little bit of detail. It's not a lot. And you get all this. <laughs> so yeah, really reminiscent of the uh, old SD Gundams. Okay, so this is made up of like a bunch of parts, and what you do is just hold it per normal. 
I didn't even think I could get this on with this kind of shoulder. Well, uh, you can hold it in an angle, I guess. And if you, if I could get it out of his hand, now he doesn't want to let go of it. You could pop this part off, and you see a little like holes right there, and there's pegs right here. Well, what you do is you pop them in a certain way. There it is. And it's a stored mode. And you go to the back, and you see these two holes on it, like the shoulder blades. Well, you just take this, and let me just try to see. Like, no, 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 no. That isn't gonna go. Let's try to fix this. It's pretty hard to get it in because it's like angled. Yeah, it doesn't want to go in. Eh, let's try to put this piece in first. Finicky. Really finicky. There you go. Alright, where was that peg? Uh, right there. Alright, now it doesn't want... No. It's failing. Everything's failing. Alright, yeah. So, there. It's supposed to be stored like that. <laughs> Maybe I'm supposed to have it this way. Hold on. Alright, where else that peg again? There it is. Maybe that was my fault. I think I had it the wrong way. Yeah, I had it the wrong way. See, I always mess with this kind of stuff. Let's put a shoulder back on and you get the whole complete whole package right there. And there he is. Yep, so good times, fun times. Love all the little paint amps on him, especially the ones that uh, they provide for you that aren't actual like diff uh, separate pieces. Like, you get the uh, orange little um, accent on top, which is painted on. Uh, the black, I think it's both the black and the red on the, um, like the inner of the legs and outer of the legs. Those are also painted on, because those are just one whole, like, piece, like, white piece with some paint on it. It's really nice. Bandai should do a little bit like this. Oh, there he goes. He's a little back heavy with all the stuff that's stored on him. But yeah, it's looking good. I mean, I like this little kit. Even without paint, he's missing a little bit of something here and there. Like, uh, I know he's missing some um, orange accents, like on the, the legs. Like, part of the knee has a little orange, I think. Yeah, or not part of the knee, part of the thigh has a little orange. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to look at the manual right now. So, uh, the chest is missing a little black, but I think those are just, you know, little accents here and there. But without it, it's still a great kit. So, as I said, it's pretty reminiscent of, um, not the, uh, old SDs, but more than your ones. Yep. So, here he is. The uh, D style from uh, Kotobukiya ARX8 Leviathan. Thanks, guys.